Hi, I'm Mark Ween. Welcome to Guitar Quick Tips number two, bar chords. A bar chord is where you take your first finger, you lay it across five or six or four strings, however many you need, and you get them all to sound. Now the first thing is you want to make sure that your guitar isn't flat or pointing down. A lot of my kid students love sitting, you know, slouched over the guitar and it makes it kind of difficult for them because then their hand's at a weird angle. If you've got the guitar at a slight angle up, it actually puts everything more in line with how your fingers are naturally going to fall. You don't want the guitar too low either because then your hand is like this and then everything up in here gets really tight. You know, so have it at a, at a reasonable height. Your thumb should be centered behind your hand. You see it peeking over the fretboard right now? When I play these chords, you're not really going to see the thumb too much. With the open chords, we have the thumb over the top. All right? And that allowed us to play those chords cleaner. With the bar chords, in order to get enough force or pressure to play these chords cleanly, you need to be a little bit more centered, especially on the F. As you move up the fretboard, if we get up here, uh, just because of how your body works and where the placement of the guitar is, you know, your thumb can start getting behind the first finger, but you don't want to be playing this chord and have the thumb over here because then you're not able to press. You can give that a try on your own. Uh, you know, stop the video, put your thumb behind your first finger, and then play this chord and see how little force or strength you have. Whereas if you put it in the center here, suddenly your whole hand can exert equal force across the entire chord shape. So the first thing is just try and get that to sound good. Now, I don't play on this part of the finger. Right? When I play, it's actually going to be kind of on the side. Your finger articulates this way. So if you try and put the strings in there, you've got all these creases, and the fact that the finger bends means that it's real difficult to exert an, a, a consistent force across all the strings. It's a real good way to have a lot of dead notes. So if you play on the side, where your finger doesn't bend that direction really, that actually gives you, it's almost like the jaw of a pliers, right? So what we have here is the ability to actually sound all of those notes. Now, what, just like with the open chords, we don't want to be touching the bottom of the fretboard, right? If you do that, this doesn't work. If you've got your index finger playing from the sixth string down, you're going to have to have this space under here anyway. And then that's going to give your other fingers the ability to curve around and play straight onto the notes that we want to hear. All right, they get some nice clean chords.